Ronaldo. And you know... No, but play. Now, I talk about play. I don't talk about so coach. I don't talk about players. the results. No, no, no. I don't here, talk about no, no. play. I, don't talk, I talk about I mean, play. I mean, okay, coach, coach. Yes. Here about, we can't no. play. I talk here about we play. just talk. Yes. Now we talk. No, you I lose. You lose. You lose. He lose. He lose. You don't understand. But now you lose. Now, coach, I talk about play. About play, play I'm I gonna, I'm gonna play. show him some skills too. Yes. Coach, I talk about play. I talk about play. You know. And you play. Brother, you can't. You play talk many years. Play. When you play, you have to play. When you talk, you have to talk. Yes. Yes. Now, but I talk about play. I say, now I, we talk, coach, right? Coach. I, as coach, I show, I just say, see, Khabib. Next time, I will show you some techniques football. Oh. Khabib told me. Okay, uh, brother, but this is next time. Now okay. we talk about now, I just football. Say, next time, I saw Khabib, I'm so grateful that you show me how to fight, how to do my things and fight. I'm so grateful. But next time, okay. I will show you some but, techniques. But what about knowledge? But knowledge is very important. No. Knowledge is extremely knowledge important. Is okay. true. True. Sorry, guys. I want you guys to check. Is this true? Oh, check. it's good. Like when talk. No, it's no, no. no. You know what? What interesting? Mm. With you, I can talk. With you, I can fight. With you, I can play. Yes. But for you, it's very hard. Yes. It's why you just follow me and yes. learn from the best. It's okay. Yes. When yes. I grew up, I learned from the best. Right, coach? <laughs> yeah, you're with me. I'm not shy coach. to learn from the coach. best. Don't be shy. Coach. It's next, okay. Coach, next time. I will teach him to play, coach. coach. You know. You coach. see how I play. Coach, yes. next okay. time. We will, yes. Okay. Coach, next time you will no. make a no. video. We have time. We have time. We have time. Manel, I don't know, buddy, but we'll have to see. Coach. Next time. Coach. Okay. Coach. Next time. I don't know, man. I mean, shit. Durino's calling me out. If, if we can make it pop with Durino, Leon, any one of these guys that, that gets me closer to the, belt, to the belt, I don't care how many fights I have to... So here's the question, bro. This is like, I think a lot of people want to know this because there's talks of people saying, oh, Diego's passed, Diego's washed. Like, what do you say to everybody that's doubting you right now? I've been doubted my entire career, man. I've been doubted since I was a high school state champion wrestler. And I've defied the odds. And I'm here for a reason. I'm still here for a real reason. And my legacy was not going to end in UFC and and what happened happened you know we had a, a, a conspiracy with Joshua Fabia like like shit did the most craziest shit ever like no UFC career has ever ended the way my UFC career ended and it is what it is I'm moving forward I'm looking to the future I'm excited to do a new sport train differently and, um, you know, I, I worked my ass off all these years doing MMA, trying to master and understand the principles, strategies of stand up, of striking, of movement, of footwork, all this stuff. And um, it's hard to learn all that stuff while you're still trying to, to master the grappling, master the Muay Thai, master everything all at once, strength and conditioning, yoga, everything. You know, it's, it, it, it's, it's a massive, massive task, mixed martial arts. And so for me now, at the end of my, at the end of my mixed martial arts career, I trained my ass off for Cowboy Cerrone. I was ready to get in there and go to war. You know, cause that was gonna be my last fight my last my big last hurrah in the ufc man i put everything into into that training camp i was ready to go and i passed all my medicals i passed everything i you know i did mri mra they did everything i'm perfectly fine and and the reason why it ended the way it did with ufc that has that has other implications 
that's that has other that's other stuff that's joshua fabia and and fucking with the medicals and, and and just pushing all the wrong buttons at the ufc you know working his ass off to do whatever was best for his intentions not my not what was not what was best for diego sanchez it was he i believe you know my mentor was guiding me in a what was best for him and what was best for him was to try to figure out a way to get a settlement with the ufc and so you know he knew you know that if if there was a major settlement with the ufc that you know i was gonna hook him up with half because he was he was it was all his idea it was all his plan he was masterminding everything you know and i made the mistake of following a mentor that i thought had a stronger connection to god than me and it is a story of biblical measure that people are not ready for a spiritual warfare type of story maybe i write the script and i do the movie someday but it's a it's a it's a real life thing man and um me and dana you know we've been talking we're cool we mended you know dana told me i got nothing but love and respect for you diego sanchez and that's you know so in the future you know i'd like to meet up with dana and you know give him a handshake and tell him thank you for everything that that the ufc did for me giving me all these great opportunities if i didn't have the ufc i wouldn't have been able to build the brand that is the diego sanchez legacy and I guess the fight itself, did it play out the way that you expected or did, did it kind of surprise you or anything? Well, I know it was physically strong, but I knew I was the faster guy. Mm, I knew some points he will have to bring the fight to me, but I said, calm in the first round. I'm not slippery. He's still strong. So I didn't take chances to get up right away, but I could have. Don't get me wrong. I'm, uh, I was physically definitely the stronger guy, even though I look skinny. <laughs> It seemed like uh, after that initial takedown, he had. There's a Monster Energy Drink sponsorship. <laughs> we asked them a couple times; they don't sponsor me. There's my manager, Monster Energy Drink. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything bad about you guys. <laughs> yeah, hopefully they're watching. But uh, after after I'm that, in, drink. I'm thirsty anyway. <laughs> after that initial takedown he had in round one, it seemed like uh, those knees to the body you hit him with. Just your pace really slowed him. Did you did you feel him getting tired in there? Well. You know, in the weigh-ins, you know, when you look someone in the eye, you, you, you can say a lot, you can see a lot. So I knew if I would make him difficult, he wouldn't go, he wouldn't go the full uh, yard. Is that the American term? Full yard? He wouldn't go all the way. So I knew if I would just, just put my game on it, he would just find a way out. Not that it's not tough. I, I like the guy, not insulting. Halfback passes to the center, back to the wing, back to the center. Center holds it, holds it, holds it. Halfback passes to center, back to wing, back to center, center holds it, holds it, holds it!